Industry standard security practices dictate that users not be logged into a workstation with administrative rights. The negative effect of this policy is that it prevents users from installing software from their desktop. Software Center is your location for installing district approved software that is common to the user's role within the district. To access Software Center, a user can click on the Start button, on the screen or keyboard, navigate to the folder labeled Microsoft Endpoint Manager, click the drop down arrow, and select Software Center from the menu. My preferred method, though, because I find it faster, is to simply type soft in the search bar and you are presented with Software Center at the top of the menu that you can quickly access. The apps that are presented will vary based on the role of the user within the district and the apps that their department has been licensed to deploy. Looking at the menu on the left side of the window, we notice that there is a number one beside the apps that are listed available for installation. This means that there is one new app on the list that has recently been added. If you look below that line, you'll see that there are four updates waiting to be installed. Updates will eventually install automatically, but if you want to install earlier at your convenience and you picking the time that it restarts, you can do that here as well. Note the variety of apps presented, ranging from browsers to graphics applications and all their printer drivers the district is currently using. If the list of presented apps is long, you can activate a filter. In this example, I will select Operating System Add-ons. Here I find a very useful app for Google Drive for the desktop. This will allow me to use Google Drive just like uh, I use my File Explorer in Windows 10. To install the app, just simply click on it and you'll be presented with the install button that will start the installation process. Now notice below, it says here there's a link of how to use Google Drive for desktops. This will bring up a document or a web page that helps you do the installation and understand how to use the software. Always look to see if there is a linked document to help you. That concludes the introduction to Software Center. We hope you find it very useful.